Styles and the boys joined Paul Rudd and his anchorman for SNL duet. He kicked off his third hosting stint on Saturday Night Live by pointing out that he'd been previously overshadowed by past musical guests Beyonce and Paul McCartney. But sadly Paul Rudd would not be the main star of the NBC sketch show this weekend, despite One Direction's attempt to reassure him. The popular boy band, Harry Styles, Louis Tomlinson, Zayn Malik, Neil Horan, and Liam Payne, joined the 44-year-old fun and then on stage during his opening monologue. Don't worry Paul, we're not here to outshine you, the wild-haired 19-year-old told him. Yeah, you do the comedy stuff and will stand back and blow kisses, 20-year-old Neil added with his Irish brogue. But the clueless hunk wasn't alone, he brought along his man band aka his anchorman co-stars Will Ferrell, David Kochner, and Steve Carell. The frat packers popped up their chests as Will taunted the British boy band with, Why don't you beat it, man you know? Then Kochner challenged, Why don't you guys sit on Santa's lap and ask for balls? After Rudd halted the testosterone overload they performed a duet of Starlin Vocal Band's 1976 Grammy-winning hit, Afternoon Delight. Then the artist formerly known as Ron Burgundy proudly announced, Number 9 Direction. The NBC sketch show's opening gag involved a happy and very welcome return of yet another SNL alum, Kristen Wiig. The 40-year-old actress gleefully donned her prosthetic five head, baby arms, and fake tooth to appease her Dooney's character. The Oscar-nominated writer portrayed one of Captain Von Trapp's children in a satire of Carrie Underwood's Sound of Music clip special on NBC. During their Edelweiss duet, Van Trapp, Fern Killam, and Maria, Kate McKinnon, were rudely interrupted by Dooney's grabby little hands. When the captain misplaces his trusty whistle, Kristen's awkward character announces she put it up her dress before emitting sounds. We then join fellow alum Fred Darmisen, as Lawrence Well, to announce, live from New York it's Saturday night. Paul appeared to have a blast mixing in with the well-groomed X Factor UK finalists. The This Is 40 star delightfully played the five pieces number one fan, who happens to be a married father of two like Rod himself. Rudd donned a t-shirt and mingled with their legion of, mostly female, devoted directioners to greet the band backstage. Am I their number one fan? Is Liam's favorite color purple? Rudd, as Dan Charles, said to the camera. The Apple Tau player then gamely bent over so that all five studs could personally sign an autograph on his back. Sign it all over my back, he cooed excitedly. One Direction performed two songs live on SNL, Story of My Life and Through the Dark. Both tracks are directly off their slightly rockier third studio album Midnight Memories, which dropped last month. The best song ever hitmakers wore matching black, white, and oxblood ensembles for the late night program. The rest of Saturday's episode was less memorable. There was a sketch about a divorcing couple who still couldn't stop dancing to their song. Fleetwood Max I don't want to know. Paul played a skinny Santa Claus debuting his 150 pound weight loss to his elves. You can crack a tooth on this bumper, Rudd said while stroking his derriere. Father Christmas was then joined by McKinnon as bartender Candace, his new ho ho ho. There was an uncomfortable white Christmas trailer parody in African American holiday comedies which involved Paul as gun toting Madia. Weekend Update featured guest correspondent Spar Mitzvah Boy, Vanessa Bear, and colonial critic Jebby Dia Atkinson, Killam. In another bit, Sisoli Strong was wistfully haunted by her past lovers, including a forgettable Papa John's employee called Victor, Brad. Paul reconnected with his anchorman co-stars for a one-note bar sketch about red cheek drunks with fake teeth saluting their pal Bill Brasky. When the episode ended, Kristen and Will were lovingly embracing each other alongside One Direction. The bridesmaids actress and the Blades of Glory actor seemed to especially enjoy reconnecting on their old stomping grounds. One Direction will kick off their Where We Are tour on August 4 at New Jersey's Met Life Stadium in East Rutherford. Rudd and his man band will appear in Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues, coming out December 20, with cameos from Kanye West, Harrison Ford, Sacha Baron Cohen, and Tina Fey.